Hey guys, it's Hannah. Coping with depression when you live with bipolar disorder. Depression freaking sucks, and it's good to prepare yourself and have techniques and methods, even though they may, might be small, to get you towards getting into the light when you're in the darkness. So first off, you want to give yourself some time and not beat yourself down. Listen, this is what we go through when we live with bipolar disorder. Okay, so stop beating yourself up, give yourself a couple of days, and then get back into the routine of things. One major, major thing, and I've got my bag of goodies here that I do, is I love to write. So journaling and writing fiction, stories, poetry, writing down affirmations and quotes are life-saving for me. I can't say it enough. Reading, self-help books, novels, anything to get your mind to refocus. Highlighting things you find in these are absolutely huge. It gives you inspiration, motivation, and again, it just refocuses your mind onto something better. One major thing that people use that it may seem childish to some is coloring. Um, it's a way to be artistic with your emotions and for a lot of people it helps. It also helps me. It's art therapy. Um, if kids can do it, so can we. One thing that I always believe in is I always, always, always have hope for tomorrow. Okay, I always believe in tomorrow. And people will email me and say, I have bipolar disorder and I was doing so well and then I got into a depression. Okay, this is the name of the game. This is what we live with, just like anybody who lives with an illness. So you constantly have to prepare yourself and it doesn't mean you're not in recovery, it means you live with bipolar disorder. So learn to express your emotions. I also take on hobbies during these times. I collect vintage love letters and vintage books and I did that during a really depressive episode. It helped me regain confidence and rebuild myself and one day I just kind of got out of it. When I first started swimming lessons and went to the ocean, the person told me that if I ever got caught into a current, I had to swim with the current in order to survive. That if I fought with it, I would drown. And that's how I look at these highs and lows. If you fight with these emotions and really go against them, you're gonna exhaust yourself and you're gonna drown. That's why building these techniques to cope with depression when you live with bipolar disorder is huge. And I wanna hear your suggestions, your advice for books. Anything you have to say, please leave that in the comment section. I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Bye.